<laughs> I still get the willies when I buy, drive by Greeley. That's, that's a tough, tough place. Uh, you know, you go up there. We used to have the rookies uh, completely convinced that it was a, what we call the high-pressure city. You say it's a high-pressure because you'd be out there in the practice field, and the sun would be beating down on you. you see clouds all the way around the perimeter. <laughs> something about Greeley is just always sunny, hot, miserable. And, uh, you know, we'd be out there uh, two-a-days and, and running laps beforehand and sweating. I, we'd lose, I'd, I'd lose 10 pounds of practice regularly. It's it just an unbelievable deal. You, you'd drink it and eat it all back on for the next practice. But it was, it was really, really a, a challenge. Yeah. Chad, if a game broke out right now, I'd lay somebody out. That's just, <laughs> that's just part, of, part of me. Uh, Yeah, they moved me around all the time, uh, and that was a great opportunity. I mean, Joe Collier is an amazing coach. A lot of the things they're doing now uh, were things that he came up with back in the 80s. We were doing way back then, you know, the 3-4 the, the, uh, with the linemen dropping out and corners blitzing and doing all that. We, we were doing that back in the day, and, and now that's the, you know, kind of the big rage right now in the NFL. So it, 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 it gave me the opportunity to try all kinds of different things, play different positions, uh, and, and really they put me at the point of attack. As a defensive player, what else can you ask for? You know, put me where the ball is going. I, I like to make the tackle. <laughs> Dennis Smith is crazy. <laughs> and if Dennis had come up, and as a linebacker, you better get somebody down in a hurry or Dennis be right in the back of your head in a, in a minute. He just bring it. And he, and he, he, he knocked me out one time. I was covering the tight end, running down the middle, and uh, Dennis came up, and the, the ball was coming. And I remember seeing the ball and the guy's hands reaching out and my hand, and the next thing I saw was a trainer. because <laughs> Dennis missed the guy and hit me. Like when John got older, they started bumping heads because they're both very, you know, hard-willed. You know, this is this is the way it's going to work, and they're 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 just uh, winners and, and tough guys and leaders in their own way. And so they were, you know, they were started bumping heads. Uh, but early on, it was great. Rulin, Rulin was an amazing play. R Rulin, uh, as far as anybody I played against or I watched was the best one-on-one -on -one pass rusher I've ever seen. He, he had an almost snake-like quality wherever the offensive lineman would be pushing, his body would flow like around the other way and he'd get, he'd get by. And They always had to double team him, which left me one-on-one -on -one or one-on-none. <laughs> it was yeah. really nice out there. So. My passion, my mission as a speaker is to inspire long-term positive change. And that long-term piece is really hard if you're a keynote speaker. You go and you talk to people for an hour. Uh, they get all excited about your material and fired up about it and stuff and go home. And, you know, three, four weeks later, they can't remember what you said or what. The book is, a, is something that they can go back to. Uh, the same stories that I use when I'm speaking are in the book. The book's won a couple of awards. It's a, it's a Mom's Choice Award gold winner. It won a... Uh, Mensa Sharp Rit Book Award is a 2010 winner for uh, young adults. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's a great book and, and really takes the way I look at life and the way I've been able to be successful uh, through stories and, and gets that out there. I talk about teamwork with leadership being the ultimate expression of teamwork. I talk about courage, the courage to try new things and the courage to be decisive. Dedication, which I describe as hard work, constant learning, and refusing to quit. Desire, that's a dream, the passion, the mission. Uh, honesty and forgiveness with yourself and self-evaluation, and then with others, and finally goal setting. And they're all explained through these stories, and, and then I've got little bits and pieces of advice for, for young athletes and their families. But you don't have to be a young athlete or a, f or a family member of a young athlete to get, get a lot out of this book. Like you said, you're a Bronco fan. There's all kinds of old Bronco stories in there and stuff that goes on that that uh, maybe behind the scenes that people hadn't heard.